<laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I thought I played well for the most part. Obviously, towards the end or actually beginning of the second set, she started to play better and really um, came into her form. And I was just trying my best to kind of stay steady. And yeah, I try to pull. I'm glad I was able to pull it out today. Coco speaking on, on the match tonight. Um, in that second set, very long second set, and Claire really elevated towards the end there. Mm -hmm. So what were you telling yourself to try and make the adjustments as her level, level started to, to go up? Um, just to stay in there in, in every point. I mean, I had a lot of break points that I didn't convert, um, and, and a match point, too, on serve. So I was just trying, trying to tell myself to stay in there and kind of hang out. I knew that she was playing well. You can kind of feel when a player is playing well. Um, and sometimes, you know, there's not much you can do about it. But today I was just trying to do my best to get the ball deep in the court. Yeah, Coco, um, I, I got to ask you, play Sunday, which is your birthday. Yeah. Uh, what's your experience playing on your birthday in the past? Uh, this is my first time playing on my birthday, actually. Just because this is my first Sydney Wells in March. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I hope I win <laughs> on my birthday. That would suck if I lose. But if I do, I, I know I'm going to have a good, good day regardless, regardless of result. So, yeah. Are you going to do anything different? Um, I, mean, I, I imagine it will be some sort of celebration, but um, um, or is it just kind of another day because you're playing? Yeah, I feel like it will be the same another day since I'm playing. I mean, my parents might give me something in the morning <laughs> or something, but, yeah, just another day, to be honest. You last played Hall Up uh, 2019 at Wimbledon. How do you think you've changed or grown in those years? Um, I mean, a lot has changed, obviously, ranking. I think I'm ranked higher than her, so that's a difference, even though I, I don't think ranking really matters, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think it's just a number, but uh, yeah, it'll be an interesting match. I definitely feel like I have a lot more experience now. Um, and yeah, I think it'll be a good match, and hopefully I can pull it out. Speaking on experience, you said that you know the, that you were focusing in that second set of just staying calm and just kind of sticking with it and grinding it out. Do you feel that experience of all these matches in those moments where you don't panic? You know, maybe back when you had played Halep or in those those years, mm -hmm. when a player starts to elevate, you know, you feel a little bit more uh, anxious in that moment. But you feeling a lot more calm in those moments? Yeah, I definitely do feel more calm today. I was really trying to take my time going to my towel, um, fighting my instincts to not rush. Um, that was definitely a lot of times I just wanted to rush up to the line. Um, but, I, you know, tried, told myself to take my time. So I think that's from learning from the past. And hopefully I can keep uh, making those right decisions in those moments. I saw you were wearing the blue and yellow today. Did you yeah. want to say a few words about what went into that decision? Um, for me, I just wanted to support peace and for all. I mean, I think that the situation is tough, and I hope that it, the conflict is resolved as quick as possible. I hate to see loss of life. And yeah, for me, it was just kind of my, uh, you know, the my way of doing the tennis united, tennis for peace kind of thing that WTA and ATP and um, the slams are kind of pushing. And yeah. Just on, on playing Halep, what's the challenge for you playing playing her? I mean, obviously she's a great player, two-time, I believe, two-time Grand Slam champion. Um, and I mean, she's a great mover. And I think that, well, I, well, I know that there will be really long rallies. And I kind of have to expect always one more ball to come back. Um, and she does a really good job of changing direction and hitting those angles. So I have to run a little bit, too. Um, and yeah, I think for me, I just. I think the mental challenge would be the most important when I play against her, expect her to hit good shots and try not to be too stressed about it and just playing at one point at a time. Do you remember what your emotions were like going into that match at Wimbledon? Obviously, it was an epic tournament for you. But yeah. like, was the expectation like, I'm going to win? Is the ex like what was, what was going through your mind ahead of that match? Um, I mean, I definitely wasn't expecting to win any match there. Um, so yeah, I think I was just kind of swinging. Um, and yeah, I, she played well. And I, like, for some reason, I always have this feeling when like, I think a player is going to win a tournament, and they, like they do. And I'm like, I mean, I know Serena was also playing, so I knew that Halep was going to get to the finals after playing her. I was like, she's playing really well. And you know, not that I had much experience playing against top players, anyways. But like, you can kind of tell that she was playing well. And uh, yeah, I knew she was going to be in the finals for sure. And yeah, and she ended up winning. So yeah, I feel like this happened to me a couple times from lost to the player who's won the tournament. Um, yeah, and I definitely feel like when you lose, you kind of just know like, yeah, they're going to win. 
Are you someone who roots for the player who beat you to win the title? To make because it puts your loss in different context. Or are you someone who's like, I really hope you lose your next match? <laughs> um, I would say, I mean, obviously, if you're gonna lose, you're gonna want to lose to the winner. So <laughs> I definitely root for them unless they're playing somebody that I know or I'm friends with. But. Yeah, I wouldn't say necessarily root, but like, you know, it's nice. I mean, it sucks to lose anyways, but maybe it sucks a little less to lose to the person who won the tournament. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Coco.